mode on Facebook and today we are going to be doing a deep dive into the Meta Business Suit. So if you've not heard of Meta Business Suit before, this is what Meta Business Suit looks like. To be able to access this um, platform, all you have to do is to go to your browser and enter business.facebook.com. Otherwise, you can also um, download it from Google Play Store. Let me let me um, show you what it looks like on Google Play Store. But you must know. So this is what Meta Business Suite looks like on Google Play Store. But you must know that um, this business suit, the one you have for your smartphone, is not the same with the one with the web version. So you also have this Meta Business Suite on the um, Apple Store. All right. So um, we are inside the business suit so we're going to be doing a deep dive into the business suit so first of all what is the what is meta business suit um meta business suits is not like um it's an or it's um a platform where you focus on your business where you focus on your web on your social media assets and where you can manage your business so even if you have a lot of businesses um, this is a place where you can manage all those businesses. So these are uh, businesses that I manage, right? So I can find them from this spot here. Once I click on this black arrow, I can, I can um, go to the businesses I manage. And then these are, these are the uh, messages. Um, these messages are both messages from Instagram and messages from Facebook. Yeah, so I've been able to connect my Instagram. So this account and this account are the same account. So this is my um, Facebook page. This is my Instagram. So I've, on this Meta Business Suite, you can also connect all of them together. So I hope that by the time we're done by um, with um, navigating all the features of the Meta Business Suite, you will have more insight into what you can do with the Meta Business Suite. So I can also create a post. So when I click on Create Post, I can create a post directly from here and um, I can post on my Instagram and I can post on my Facebook at the same time. So you can see I've selected um, my Facebook, I've selected my Instagram, and then I can add pictures, I can add videos. I can also use um, picture templates to work. And here is where I can put in my text. But if I want um, Facebook to have a different text, and I want Instagram to also have a different text, I'm going to select this toggle button here. You, you, can see the, you can see customized post for Facebook and Instagram. So when I select this toggle button, I can write a different test for Facebook and I can write a different test for Instagram. This is most especially useful if you are going to have a lengthy post for Instagram and then you want to have um, a different post for, for sorry, a lengthy post for Facebook and a different post, a shorter post for Instagram because you know not all um, length of text can be used for or Instagram and then um, here is where you can either publish now or use or use or use schedule for um, a, a specific time but you are not allowed to schedule anytime you want so when you go to schedule um, you can schedule for as much as one month so from 22nd to 20th of from 22nd of July to 20th of August is the most you can be allowed to, to schedule. So I think it's one month interval and then you can select your time. So what, what I usually do with this is sometimes when I have the time, I create my content for all these days. I sit down for a day or two or three or one week, create content for all these days and schedule them so I don't have to be creating content again. This is most especially true for businesses so when you do your content planning when you do your um, content planning when you do your content calendar 
this is where um, you can actually schedule on 22nd 23rd and up to 20th of august and then you choose a specific time that you want and then there is a nice feature on um this business suit that i like when you click on active times you will see the most times that your audience uh, are most active so you can see the active time today my, my audience are most active by 1900 tomorrow the same time and next the same time and then on instagram my audience are mostly active 1800 monday 1800 was fridays 0800 so you can walk around this and then here is where you choose your privacy setting you can choose who can see your post and who cannot see your post um, you can even choose that your post will be seen by a specific age 15 plus or 18 plus or 21 plus and, and stuff like that and only people on this particular um, each category can see your audience another thing i like about the business suite is that you can actually um i don't know if you've seen that before but if you are looking at netflix from united states you'll be seeing something different you'll be seeing different posts if you are looking at netflix from the uk you might be seeing different posts too but if you are looking at netflix from nigeria you are also seeing different posts so um, they do this because they want to localize the content you see on their page. So when you get to their page, they want you to feel at home with their page. And you can also do this. For example, um, I can type United States now and I make a post. I can select United States and maybe other, or I can select Africa. I can select region by region, right? I can select all the countries in Africa or Nigeria because I want to make posts specific for certain countries right so when i do that when i select the location here and i save my post this particular post i'm going to make will only be seen by specific countries so this is how it is done maybe i don't know if you've encountered that before and you're asking yourself how do they do this this is how it is done you can actually use one page you don't have to create um, different pages for um, different countries um, as regards to your brand, you can have admin from United States um, representing United States and the person is instructed that every post you make, you must ensure that you select United States so that it's not made available to Nigerians, right? All right. So this is how it is done. And away from the, um, away from the, from the create post, you can also create reels, um, reel using your, um, business suit so real is tiktok alternative um, i'm not going to start analyzing all of them and here when you click on more you can go live you can create ads you can post videos across pages this is another feature i like so much so i can decide to maybe i have a particular video i want all the pages i have every of my pages to to be to have those videos I can go to post video across pages and I'm going to select all the pages that I have and the videos I made available will be posted on all those um, pages. I can also actually um, post my live video across all pages. After going live, I can post my live video across all pages. Then here I can bulk upload videos. When you bulk upload videos, you can actually schedule these videos you can name these videos and all that so this this is most especially important for content creators and then on go live um i want to talk a bit about go live now on go live sometimes when you see um people have you know professional broadcasts it's actually because they are they are taking advantage of this of some of this um, features now when you click on go live we have go live we have create live video event so if you want to go live on a specific date you can schedule the um, live here maybe I want to go live next tomorrow I can schedule it or maybe this is a short page and we want to go live on um, on Sunday which is tomorrow 
I can schedule the live here, put in my time and the, the image, the description and all that. And I, I can also click here and I can go live from here directly. All right. So um, if I want to do some setup before going live, I can simply click on create a test broadcast before going live. So when I click on go live, um, we are going to see some more little settings that we might need to adjust so when i click on on go live here you can see we have um stream key we can we have a lot of other features and here also i can cross post to more pages you can see the pages these pages i can go live here and these pages are also live and i can also add my live video on my on my um, on my story so the reason why I'm explaining this is uh, I'm not really gonna be talking about live broadcast here so maybe when we um, if we're gonna have a French training on live broadcasting um, we are going to be analyzing this whole thing so I just want to show you the things that are possible for um, for business suits because we are navigate we are navigating business suits so that's that all right um okay so that's that on on this part of the business suit so let's talk about these places so the notification is when i click on my notification this is where i can see notifications as regards to my um, facebook page and my instagram and then here we have the planner I love the planner so I'm going to open this on a new tab because I don't want to close I don't want to, when I come back here it's going to refresh okay so when I open this on a new tab we can see we have um, sort of a content calendar right so what um, I use this planner to do is I use it to market to sorry I use it to uh, to plan my marketing calendar by creating or by scheduling or by managing my content so if i am to um to plan my content and i already have my contents each particular date i want to schedule um, i can simply come here click on plus i can schedule posts i can schedule story i can create real events real for that day i can even schedule ads so any day available for me i can do that so i can when you select week you're going to be seeing only the week when you select month you're going to be seeing the month all right all right so uh like i said before you are limited to you, it's not every time that you can it's not every month you want that you can schedule you are only limited to scheduling um um to the extent of one month you can't schedule beyond one month and then here we have our contents this is where you can okay so let me close this now this is where you can manage your contents all the contents you've posted previously all the contents you've posted previously this is where you can manage the contents you can see the contents you've published you can see the scheduled contents you can see your drafts you can see expiring contents um, if you set your contents to expire, you can see them here um, and here you can see contents that are already expired. You also maybe want to um, select some contents and do something on them. You can select contents from here and do whatever you want to do with them. So we selected five posts. We can decide to um delete this post and when we click on this place we can delete the posts so that's what we can do on the content um section you can look at your posts and reels you can look at your stories you can look at your a b tests and stuff like that so we are still going to see some of these things when we are planning our advertising all right so here is insights i love this part of um, business suit very well because it gives us insight into our activities 
So when I click on insights, insights is very, very important for brands. It's something you have to take serious. So when I click on insights, um, click on insights, um, I have my ad account here. I, you can see different ad accounts here. Um, this is the ad account I usually use. So it's important I select the ad account that I usually use. Um, okay, so this is, is the overview of our insights. So you can see um, some important information because in marketing, you must know your numbers. It's important you know your numbers. It's important you know how your marketing is doing. You need to know how your um, campaigns are performing. You need to know the, the kind of engagement you are getting on your page. You need to know, you need to have an overview of all these things so that you know where to improve. You need to know where your audience are coming from. And this is where you have those informations. And um, this, this, this is your, um, your results. On the results, you can see your Facebook reach, you can see your Instagram reach. I have not really done so well on this particular um, page because I have not really so much focused on it. Um, so I have 42,000 Facebook reach. I have um, 1,770 Instagram reach. I have 559 people um, visiting my Facebook and this is between um, the last 28 days. I have 559 people who visited my profile directly and I have 33 for Instagram and new likes and follows only two, new Instagram follow only seven and um, you also here you also see your ad trends, you see your paid reach, you see your paid impressions. If you are running ads on Facebook, this is where you see how the campaign is performing. And you can also use this export um, feature to export the report. You can export the report as PNG, as CSV, or as PDF. And here is where you see your audience. Here is where you see where your audience are coming from. So my Facebook followers are, are 2,600 Instagram followers 5,800 and this is where I see my um, my uh, top cities and top towns okay so the top cities um, as regards to my the top cities in my as regards to my content for the last 28 days okay yeah for lifetime okay um, is Lagos it's 16.2% of my um, audience, those who are engaging, are from Lagos on Facebook and on Instagram, 15.9% are from Lagos. Then the second is Onisha, 9.6% is from Onisha, are from Onisha. And then for Instagram, the second is 2.5%, which is from the Es Salaam. From Tanzania and then we have Ibadan coming third and here we have Accra Ghana coming third this is for Instagram and this is for Facebook and on Facebook we have Accra Ghana coming fourth and here we have Ibadan coming um, fourth and then here we have Abuja coming fifth and here we have Nairobi Kenya coming um, fifth with 1.1 percent okay so these are my top cities. Now, knowing my number is very important. If these cities are not necessarily my target, I can see that somehow I'm, I'm, I'm getting the wrong audience. So what do I need to do? When I begin to run campaigns, I begin to target on those places where I'm not performing very well, all right? Okay, so these are my top countries. For Facebook, that is Meta Business Suit, Sorry, Facebook, yeah, Facebook. My top country is Nigeria, and the second is Ghana. And on Instagram, my top country is Nigeria, and the second is Tanzania. So these details are very important. And then when it comes to gender, that 7% of, follow, of my followers are women, while 63% are men. On Instagram, 34.6% are women, while 65.4% are men. And we can see that represented in this pie chart. Okay, so 
With this in mind, I already have an understanding of what my audience looks like. Yeah. And when we come to benchmarking, benchmarking is where you can actually compare your your brand or your page with that of other um, other accounts. So you compare your performance against businesses in the creators and um, celebrities category. All right. So here you see how often your business published versus how um, others in this category published. So you see how often my business published and you see compared to others in my category. So I seem to be doing well when it comes to publishing content. So you can see higher than others. And then when it comes to Instagram followers and um, other accounts like mine, other accounts like mine, you can see higher than others. So I am literally doing better than others but when it comes to interactions it's very similar to others okay so i personally do not know the algorithm they use to get these informations and i can explain all right and then when it comes to businesses to watch i can add a new business um let's say i want to watch landway for example so um, I'm watching Landway and these are their followers and these are the contents they published. So I'm watching them. I'm trying to do like them. So when I look at this number and when I look at this number, then I, I, will, I will know if I've got something to work on. So you can add businesses to watch here. Remember what we are doing is uh, we are trying to navigate the business suite. So you really need to have an understanding of what you can do with this business suit so even if even if this video is going to take up to one hour for us to finish unraveling this business suit it's important that you understand it because in your marketing you'll be doing a lot of things with this um, business suit so the same way we can go ahead and click on these informations and we see insights performances results and all that and so when i clicked on content overview you can see um, what it looks like. You can see that my reach on Facebook increased by 920, 928.3%. Okay, and so that's the far I can go um, on, on um, these insights. Now, if your story insight is not turned on, you can also turn it on. You can also turn it on and it's very important that you do okay now here is where i can manage my inbox i'm not going to open that but when i click here i can manage my instagram inbox and i can manage my um, my facebook inbox the reason why i'm not going to open this is i wouldn't want to be sharing the content of my inbox probably from other persons who might not want their names to be seen um I wouldn't want to be sharing that okay and when i come to monetization the monetization um, you can see how your account is if your account is in right standing and if your account is eligible to monetize currently um i'm, I'm not eligible to monetize my account yeah but I have no brushes, so my page is able to earn money if it's eligible. So you can see I've got no monetization brushes. Um, so here we have the main and here we have education. So the education says we are working on um, updating the help center. So the education is about where you see you can get help from in case you have any confusion. And here you, you can view your page eligibility and you can see I have not met this criteria for in-stream demand. Then I can view the criteria. So the criteria has to be that I've got up to 5,000 followers. And if I want to get 5,000 followers, I can. All I have to do is to run ads with good budget 
to get up to 5,000 followers in one week, it's possible. And then I must make sure that I create engaging um, content. So in the, in the last 60 days, I must have 60, a total of 60,000 um, minute views. The views can come from my on-demand contents. On-demand contents are contents you simply post on your Facebook. Um, it can come from live or it can come from previously live videos. So to get this done, you might also want to run ads to increase your video views so that you can be able to monetize. So that's that on monetization. And in-stream ads have not met the criteria too. And I think the criteria should be the same with the other. I am not so sure. And for one reason or another, it is not loading. And then here is where you set your payout settings. Your payout settings is where you can um, receive your earnings. It's where you can receive your earnings. So I have not received any earnings. So I can't see any information here. And on transactions, you can see all transactions that has you've performed. You can see your earnings and you can see your payouts. So assuming you end money, this is where you see um, the end money. You want to pay out, this is where, and if you've been paid out, this is where you see the payout. And settings is where you set up how you want to receive your money. Okay, so this is um, the account I set up in initially. Um, so okay, so you are required to put in your account number. I actually, it was actually my account number that I put in here. Okay, and then we have the ads. The ads is where you can create ads. Even though I have something else for you when it comes to ads, I still need to explain them. So this is where you can manage your ads. This is where you can manage your ads, very, very important. So here you can see all the ads that we've run. And here you can see your, you can see your audience. How do you see your the ads? Remember, we're going to run, we're going to do the ads later on. So this particular session is to navigate the business suit and understand the things you can do with business suit. And I'm not going to be explaining every single thing here. You need to take your time, come to um, open your business suit and play around these things to know what and what they are. And the few things I want to talk about here is I want to talk about the sound collection. I've talked about the planner. I've talked about almost everything here. I want to talk about the sound collection. I want to talk about the account quality and what else. And I want to talk about the ads manager. I also want to talk about the instant forms and the commerce. So these are the few things I'll be talking about here. Okay, so for the sound collection, the sound collection is where you find royalty-free sounds that you can use for your media content on Facebook. So if you want to prevent your contents being banned on Facebook or your contents being restricted because you are using sounds from um, copyrighted sounds, you can actually use the sound collection on Facebook to get your sound. So here we have a lot of sounds. I do use these sounds for my videos. I'm going to play one so that you see what it looks like. All right, so that is what it looks like. Um, you can download these sounds by simply clicking on the download button. And I would recommend using this sound for, for YouTube. Some of them works on YouTube. I have used it a couple of times, but um, for some reasons, YouTube also has their own sound collections. And if you are not sure the sound is um, 
not under create it's on is if you're not sure it's under what we call creative commons license i would recommend using it for your youtube so that you don't waste your time editing your videos putting them on youtube using the sound wasting your data and at the end of the day it is not accepted and that is that for the sound connection and then we have the i said i was going to talk about the account quality the account quality is where you monitor your account to see if you are violating any particular um, rule. So this is where you can check the quality of your account. Yeah. So when you come, when you come here, most times you are going to you are going to see these um, guys here. What you have to do is to go is to go to account overview, and you click on account overview. The account overview is where you see the issues you had with your accounts, the ones that has been resolved, or if your account has issues or has been restricted. This is where you can see those informations. So you can see for the last 30 days, but you can increase it to the last 90 days, or you can decrease it to the last 14 days all right so that is that for account overview it is very important so when you have issues like your account being restricted this is where you come to and find support you can also click on contact support for me when i click on contact support i can chat with um, some agents live but this feature is not available to all facebook accounts um, it's available to some accounts, but it's not available to every account. All right. Um, and um, here we have the, the instant forms. And here we have the audience. Here we have the account manager. Um, so I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this. Um, I'm also going to open, okay, I think that's all I want to open today. I'm going to open this. So these ones I'm opening now are the ones I want to talk about. And then the instant form is where you can create forms that you can use to run your ads. We're still going to see the usage tomorrow, but this instant form is where you can um, generate your leads connect them to CRM softwares like MailChimp. Um, it is very, very important. It is very nice. It's something you can use to generate your leads. So tomorrow when we talk about leads generation or the next video, I'm saying tomorrow because I'm going to record that tomorrow. But the video, um, the next video you'll be seeing should be talking about this. And this is where you can manage your ads. This is the ads manager. And tomorrow we are going to be um, having a detailed dive into the ads manager and we're going to be um, running ads too. So this is the, um, the account overview of our ads manager. This is where we can, we have, we can um, run in-depth ads. We can run detailed ads, professional, uh, it's not just um, making a post and boosting the post. And then this is where you can manage your audience. I wanted to talk about this because, because before you talk about running ads, it's important that you do this. This is where you can create your, your audience. The particular audience you are targeting for your content, sorry, for your ad, this is where you can create those audience. So when you click on create a custom audience, when you click on create a custom audience, you can choose the sources of your audience. You can choose whether your audience are coming from your website. Now, what do they mean by website? What they mean is um, the audience will be based on people who are visiting your website, people who are taking certain activities on the website. So when you run this type of ad, it will be shown to people who visit your website. 
or who have visited your website. That is how you go to Jumia to shop something and you come to Facebook, you are seeing adverts from Jumia for exactly that same product you wanted to buy from Jumia. And you can also source your, source your audience from the app activities. If you have your apps from the Play Store, you can source from catalog and you can have your customer lists. Assuming you have a customer list that you've generated using um, the instant form, you can upload the customer list here. And when you're running ads with this particular audience, this customer list audience, the ad will be shown only to them. And then we have the other sources. These other sources include the, I didn't talk about the offline activities. Offline activities, you can also create audiences um, based on people that have interacted with your business, people that have walked into your store, and you'll be asking yourself, how does Facebook know these things? They know, because we all have identifiers. We all can be, can be linked to our phones. Our activities can be linked to our phones. So if you visit my office with your phone, um, your data is on, Facebook is tracking those informations especially if you allowed it to track it. And if I decide to target people who visited my office, you are going to be among the people the ads will be shown to. And then we have the other sources. Now, these sources are, these sources in total are divided into two. We have your sources and we have meta sources. Your sources are sources that belong directly to you. Um, the it is not regulated by Facebook. It is your website, it is your app, it is your catalog, it is your customer list, um, the offline activities. It's about your business. It is not controlled by Facebook. It is controlled by you. But then, the other sources are sources controlled by Facebook. So you can decide to show your ad to people who have viewed your videos. Or sorry, you can decide to create audience based on people who are viewing your videos. That is where you can select video. Or you want to create audience based on people um, who opened or completed a form on your, on your lead generation ads. You select this one. So this same thing applies to every of other information here. You want to show ads to people who have interacted with your Facebook account or people who have interacted with your Facebook page. You select so anyone you select you click on next and it, be, it begins to it begins to um, work on it so I want to select my page my personal page I want to select my personal page um, okay let me just do that by session and um, I can also select my profile. If your profile is on professional mode, I suppose, I can also select my profile. And then I can choose the event. I can choose, is it um, people who currently like or follow my page, people who engaged with my page, people who visited my page. So there are events for each of the options you select. For each of these, of these options you select, there are also events surrounding it, for example, when I select video, um, I can choose the engagement type. People who viewed at least three seconds of my video. People who viewed at least 10 seconds of my video. People who either completed or viewed at least 15 seconds of my video. So I can choose to show my, I can choose to create my audience based on any of these events or any of these activities. So these are things you should know. And this is how you choose your custom audience. And then you can also create a lookalike audience. What is lookalike audience? Lookalike audience means those custom audience you have, you can create audience that looks like them. Remember, your custom audiences are audiences you have on your own, not controlled by Facebook. But then you want Facebook to improve on those audience. You want Facebook to improve on people to to give you audience um, who resemble those audience based on their activities. That is where 
the custom lookalike audience becomes very important. So you can choose an existing source and you can select the location you want to target. It could be Nigeria, it could be other countries. And then you select number of lookalike audiences. Now, what does this mean? It means you can create multiple lookalikes with different level of similarity to your sources. And this allows you to, to bid differently for audiences with different conversion values. And so that is that about this. And then um, what is the need of this? This is very important too. So when you are creating a lookalike audience, um, the, the, the more you increase this, the, the broader it becomes. If you want audience that looks exactly like your audience, you keep it at 1%. So it will look exactly like your audience. All right. And then we have creates a saved audience. A saved audience simply means you have to um, create your audience yourself. So first of all, let's assume we want to create an audience. We can name the audience and they can shoe audience so this is for our shoe company and we can go to we can select existing audience but we don't want to select that we don't even have one already on the on the ad account that we're using so here you choose nigeria you choose nigeria you choose countries you want to target and you choose their age, you choose their gender, you choose their language. If you want to target only English speakers, you choose English. And then this is where you begin to add more details on your targeting. These details are very important. This is where you add demographics, interests, and behaviors. So we are still going to be understanding demographics interests and behaviors when we look at creating effective um, advertising campaigns or creating effective campaigns and i think that is that for the audience All right and then here finally we have the commerce manager that's where we wrap up for today what is the commerce manager the commerce manager is where you can create your commerce account. This commerce account is not available for every country. So you can check if you can do that by simply going to add account. So you can see shops aren't available for your region. Um, it used to be, I created one before. All right, so now um, what you can do here is even if you don't have commerce accounts, you can create a catalog. What, what is this catalog for? Depending on the product you are selling, you, you can create a, tag, a catalog for your e-commerce store, for your traveling agency, for your property, for your author, author. So what do we do with this? This catalog is just the same thing with your WhatsApp business catalog. Where you create product catalog, their description and their prices. And so you can use those catalogs when running promotions. All you have to do is you want to sell, to sell shoes using ads and you've created your shoe catalog. All you have to do is to select the catalog when running your ad. So Facebook will be showing this catalog to people. They can be sliding through. It's like a carousel. They can be sliding through and selecting the particular shoe that they want. And that's that for um the the um, commerce some of these things we're still going to have a specific class on some of them how to do them all right and i think that is where we come to the end of this session so um i would like to see you in the next class where we talk about some other things but finally before i close this um, I also want to show you how to solve um, some specific Facebook problems. And um, for example, 
So many Nigerians do not run ads simply because they cannot um, pay for dollar with their Naira card. How do you resolve this? Very simple. Simply go to settings. When you open your business suite, make sure if you don't have any business yet, if you don't have a business account, if you don't have something on that business account, make sure you click on create here. Make sure you click on create business account. Make sure you do that, create business account. Make sure you click on create business account. And then when you do that, um, if you have a business account already, select the one you want and click on settings. On settings, go to business assets. On business assets, go to add assets. On add assets, come down to advertising and select. Click the ad account. Click on create new ad account. And you can go ahead and create your new ad account. When creating your new ad account, Make sure that um, your time zone is correct. For us in Nigeria, we are using plus one, GMT plus one, and that should be Lagos. So, Africa, Lagos. On the currency, make no mistake about it, don't use dollar. Simply look for Naira and click on next. Then you confirm. When you confirm, once you click here, you've created your ad account. I don't want to create one. So when you create your ad account, you have options to pay with any card, which does not work at the moment. Um, it's going to work if you use your a dollar card anyway, but it's not going to accept your Naira card. Then you also have options to pay using pay you using pay you yeah you have options to pay using pay you let me see if i can access that so that i show you what pay you looks like so to add money to your account um using the naira accounts that you've created you have no business with debit and credit cards all you have to do is to select pay you and click on next you'll be familiar with the um, remaining process because that's how most of us pay for things in Nigeria I don't know about other countries so you can see that when you put in your card details and click on pay it sends you OTP code and when you put in the OTP code, the payment is successful. Alright guys, that's that on, on this section. So, see you in the next class.